Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Sarah. Welcome to the first UX Research Functional Group Update of 2018. So I'm pleased to announce that the UX Research Quiz has returned for 2018. The full rules of how to play are available on the slide. Uh, for those of you who are new to GitLab and haven't played before, it's very simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions and I'd like you to guess what the answer is by entering your choice A, B or C into the chat window. And you need to do that before the countdown ends. You can only have one guess per question or you will be disqualified. Uh, please keep a note of how many answers you get right because I'll ask you to post your score in the chat window a little later on. Okay. So this year I'm up in the stakes. So you wanted swag, you got to get swag. So if you manage to correctly answer two or more out of the three questions I asked today, you will be entered into a prize draw in March to win a pair of GitLab sunglasses. And if you take part in my functional group update next month, and again, you're a top scorer, you'll also receive a second entry into the prize draw. So you can potentially have up to three entries uh, into the draw. So without further ado, my first question. I'll give you a couple of seconds to read the slide. Now remember, UX research study could be a survey. It could be a usability test, basically any kind of UX research. Okay, three second warning, two second warning, one, time's up. So if you said A, 980 people, you'd be way too low. The answer is B, a massive 1,530 people took part in UX research in 2017. Next question. Now, you have to remember that for pretty much the whole of 2017, we only had one UX researcher at GitLab. So how many studies did I manage to complete? Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, I can see the chat window slowing down. So three, two, one, time's up. If you said B, 12, so you estimated one study a month, you'd be wrong, you've underestimated me. I did in fact complete 16 studies. Uh, they consisted of four click tests, three surveys, three moderated usability studies, two unmoderated usability studies, two rounds of user interviews and two card sorts. Now, you may remember in my last update, I talked about how we were looking for a junior UX researcher to join the team here at GitLab. And I'm really happy to say we found somebody. I'd like to welcome Catherine to the team and I'm gonna let her read this next question. So over to you, Catherine. Hi everyone. I'm really glad to have joined the team. So the format for this question is two truths and a lie. No, wait, it's two lies and a truth. Sorry about that. I always get that backwards. Okay, so please take a moment to send in your guess for the right fact, and then I'll share the right answer. It kind of looked like it was slowing down, but then there's still some coming in. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so these are all similar, but the real fact is actually probably the least interesting. It's B, I taught myself how to knit at eight years old. Okay. Awesome, thanks Catherine. So please now total up your scores, everyone, and post them into the chat window. Uh, Catherine is actually helping me keep tally of everyone's scores today, so thank you very much, Catherine. Oh, great, so we've got some twos in there. Very good. Awesome. 
Okay, so come in. At the end of last year, we ran some card sorts with users and we discovered that they stru structured the sidebar navigation differently to what currently exists. Uh, due to the restrictions of the testing methodology, uh, project level navigation was tested in isolation of group level navigation and vice versa. And what we want to do is combine the results of both of those card sorts and test that they work together. And the best way to do that is with something called a tree test. And basically you give users a set of tasks to carry out on a tree diagram and that tree diagram mirrors the information architecture of the navigation. Uh, the tree diagram is text-based, uh, so there's no design to lead or influence users and we're purely looking at how content is structured within the sidebar. OKRs, so UX research has the same OKRs as the rest of the UX team, but these are the two OKRs which we feel will benefit most from some research. Basically, we have one OKR that covers accessibility and we already have a lot of open issues for accessibility and we're going to help prioritise them and possibly uncover other pain points along the way as we speak to users. And the second OKR is focused on encouraging more technical, non-technical users and underrepresented groups to use GitLab. We want to understand what's perhaps holding them back from adopting GitLab and what we can do to help alleviate their concerns. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, Sarah, I, uh, I wonder um, whether uh, you're interested in, in doing kind of something on the side um, because this UX research is super, super useful. And I think uh, the, the progress has been amazing. Like we used to have consistent complaints about navigation on GitLab. And I, I think now GitLab is becoming an example of how to have both good navigation, but still a lot of functionality. I think that's awesome. But, the, but an app is more than just navigation uh, or like a product as GitLab is more than just the application. It's not just the application. It's also our installation process and our, our how our documentation is uh, um, um, structured from an information architecture, et cetera. I wonder whether whether it's interesting to look, look have a bit more holistic perspective and, and look at those things too. How, how would you think about that? Yeah, certainly. I think the thing is, is that user experience covers everything. It covers everything that anyone ever interacts with GitLab. You walk into a supermarket and that's a user experience. So, yeah, by all means, I think the whole thing from um, installing GitLab, which I know that there's a, an issue that's been raised for that by Marin. And I think we're hoping to have that maybe at a later date as an OKR. Um, and also documentation, definitely, because kind of... Um, when we do a lot of surveys, uh, when we have a, like quite a few open text questions where we say to users, you know, what, ca what kind of thing can we improve if you could give us any ideas? And the documentation does come up a lot. Cool. Um, by the way, I'm, I think our, our installation and, and our documentation are already without part in the industry. Uh, someone mentioned today, asked SourceGraph to, can you do an installation like GitLab Omnibus because it's so good? Um, so it's already really good, but I think compared to how good our navigation is getting, uh, uh, these uh, relatively there's there's certainly room for improvement. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Any other questions? Okay, three more seconds, two more seconds, one more seconds. Thanks very much for listening and for taking part. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>